What are you doing? You are so pretty. Look at you. Look at that smile. Come here. Come here. Look at you. What is in my tackle box? Or maybe in this case, my tackle bag. Let's get into it. I use the Plano A-Series Tackle Backpack. You can get these for around uh, $50 or $60 at uh, Gander Mountain or Dick's Sporting Goods. And some of the things that I like about this backpack is it has one big compartment. You open it up and you have room for five of your Plano boxes and then extras up here. Now I'm gonna get to what's in these boxes in a minute. And in this compartment, oh, hey buddy. In, in this compartment, I will keep, Kobe, move, here, move, move out of the camera, come here. I will keep just fishing gloves uh, made by Rapala, just because you never know what you're gonna need them for. In this compartment, I have some of the tools that I take with me when I go fishing. And those would be a Rapala scale, a pair of pliers, Rapala Superline scissors, and a Rapala lip grip. If you're lacking other tools or if you want to grab a bass by the lip and connect a scale to this. In the first box, this is where I will keep my hooks. Uh, I have EWG worm hooks, both Superline and regular. Uh, tungsten weights, 3 16ths, quarter ounce, half ounce. Uh, flipping hooks. Uh, one shaky head. Uh, an underspin. And this is where I'm going to keep a lot of my terminal tackle throughout the year. Okay, up next, a box of plastics. Basically all it is, is it's going to be your Senkos, some ribbon tail worms, zoom trick worms, some craws, some beavers, uh, a couple drop shot baits. And I will change this throughout the year. Uh, to different colors, different sizes, different baits, depending on what time of the year it is. In the next box, it is where I keep my spinner baits and my jigs. And right now, I have just a couple spinner baits, a chatter bait, a swim jig, a couple flipping jigs, a football jig. And like the others, this will also get changed throughout the year to different sizes, lengths, colors, weights. In the box with the Lucky Tackle Box sticker, this is where I keep a lot of my square bill crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, jerk baits. There's some, for example, you got a Rapala you, DT6 a DT4, other Rapalas. There's a, a Mega Bass S-Crank in there. Uh, a live target and a Mega Bass Jerkbait. Livingston, more Rapala, Rick Klun. At certain times of the year, I will carry more hard baits and at other times of the year, I will carry less. You know, as you guys know, it depends on the conditions. The fifth and final box is top water. I have a couple frogs, a hollow body sunfish, a couple spooks, poppers, just an assortment. And these are what I have in there for right now that I will probably use through spring and early summer and then I'll change it up as the year goes or if I find baits that I have better luck with depending on what month it is or what lake I'm at, just stuff like that. And I don't know if I showed you guys good enough, so I'll try and 
get a look at that. Up top. This is where I like to put, oh, I don't know, extra plastics, rage craws, vile craws, uh, jig trailers, brush hogs, uh, rage menace, and of course, Kitex. Oh yeah, and I have my license right here too, my fishing license, that I'm gonna have to renew after March 31st. The backpack with all the baits in it weighs, I don't know, 10 pounds, 10 ounces. But, because it's a backpack, it's not gonna tear your back up like some of the shoulder bags that you see people use. And it's going to evenly, it's going to evenly distribute the weight. Put everything in the backpack, put it on, and you're good to go. In my opinion, a tackle backpack is always better than a big bulky tackle box, even though some people still use them and that's okay, or even a shoulder bag. It's, it's convenient, it's easy to carry, it's gonna hold what you need, and it's, I just wanted to give you a basic overview of what's in my tackle bag, or tackle backpack, for this year or for right now that is what i have in my tackle bag thank you for watching this episode and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna leave you guys with a clip or two of when my friend and i went to this bigger public lake a couple days ago and tried to fish and it was just too cold and too windy and nothing really happened but i'll see you guys i hope all of you are enjoying your sunday and I've even seen quite a, quite a few of you on Instagram catching a lot of nice bass in the south. And that is totally awesome. Switch it up to the lipless crankbait. See if we can't do any better with this. And of course, before I even cast it, the bait is tangled. I love treble hooks sometimes. I'm sick of the cold. I'm sick of the wind. There goes that. I'm having a hard time not laughing at him because his girlfriend backlashed his reel really bad and he wasn't thinking and he just casted it.